In this video, we will take a closer look at something called Sprite Physics Shape, and it's a new feature in Unity 2017. So it's not something that is in the stable live version, it's just in the 2017 beta. So, um, as you can see here, I have a scene, and this scene is simply consists of some different sprites um, with some colliders on them. But if I click one of these trees here, you will see that this collider is very, very complex and it consists of a lot of polygons here as you can see they go across each other and, and everything and basically unity have added a way in the sprite editor so that we can uh, change this shape to suit our needs so that it's less expensive to calculate these um, uh, collisions so if i would click the tree sprite i can go to the sprite editor right now there would also be the, um, the possibility to create an edge collider and then make the shape yourself but then you will have to do it for every single sprite if you do it this way it will be applied to the actual sprite here um, and it will be applied to every single game object so before you would have to do it for every single game object that was using a sprite but now you can actually just make it fit the actual sprite so let's see here if i go to sprite editor and select the drop down up here you can see there's something called edit sprite uh, is edit physics shape and here you can see all the points that um, are creating this collider so if I would like this collider to be simpler I can actually just start deleting these points because maybe I don't need it to go down here I don't need all these points up here um, all these edges um, and maybe this is uh, is fine right so basically I can just delete as much as I want to make this collider fit my needs. So I'm just going to do that quickly. And there we go. So now you can see that this collider consists of way fewer edges than it did before. And you can see it's not as precise, but I wouldn't need to have collision to go down here. It's totally fine if it collides with something up here because it hits the tree, right? So this is the new physics shape of this sprite here. I can also delete this actually. So this is the new physics shape. If I click apply and close this down, then I can select the tree. As you can see, it still has the old shape here, but I can click on it and select the collider over here and reset it. And now you can see it consists of, of way fewer um, polygons now, as you can see, and this is way cheaper to calculate um, the um, way way cheaper for it to calculate the actual collisions, and of course you can make things more precise because we can we can um, compare it right. Look at all the shapes we have over here compared to the tree over here. That's the different difference, and as you can see, we can also make things more precise. Let's say we have this tombstone here. Um, this cross as you can see the collider follows the cross around but if we go back to the original of this if I edit this and just delete everything this is the original shape right so if I just apply this and reset the cross um, like so you can see like the shape goes all the way around here and it's not very precise so in some cases where you want more precise uh, collision you can also go and edit this physics shape so that it fits uh, more with the actual shape of the object that you are actually um, creating a collider for so now you can see I've moved these around um, so that I actually get a collider that is a little more precise if I could even hit these Oh god, I'm bad at hitting these. There we go. And there and there. So now you can see it's it's a little more precise because it goes it follows the cross edges. So if I click apply now and go back to the cross here and reset it, you'll see now we have a shape that actually follows the actual uh, uh, collide that follows the shape around. So that's what I want to show in this video. As you can see all the collision and everything still works. So, thanks for watching. If you're interested in the project files and Unity 2017, you can find the links in the description below the video.